Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to give you guys a full list of tips, tricks, and features for the S Pen for the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Now, this video is geared for two kinds of people people that already own the Note 5 and want to master the S Pen, or people who simply want to see the various wonderful and magical options the S Pen is capable of. So, let's dive in and go over all the tips, tricks, and even a few hidden features in full detail. All right, so the first tip I want to talk about is called a direct pen input. What this allows you to do, it allows you to use the S Pen as a natural handwriting tool when you're sending a text message or even if you're typing an URL for a website. So let me just launch the messages application over here and demonstrate how this works. So all you have to do is you have to hover the S Pen over the area into which you would usually tap and type. All righty. So instead of doing that, you hover the pen you wait for that blue symbol to pop and then you tap that symbol and that brings up the free style handwriting area into which you can type anything and it's going to get converted into actual text and then you can click done and that text is going to show right over here and then you can send this to your friends now the other thing you can do over here is let's delete this for a second and just hover the pen tap that little T symbol you can also go into the drawing mode over here you can actually draw something to show off to your buddies so let's say you want to draw a circle now first of all you can pick a color you can pick the orange color right over here and just draw the circle and then when you click done what happens is the drawing that you just did gets converted into a picture right over here and you can send that right over to your buddies and they will see that no problem now there's other ways you can use a direct pen input you can do it anywhere into which you're normally allowed to type in using the keyboard. So if I go to the Chrome web browser, I can hover it right over here and then just tap that T. And from here, I can pick the presets, www, and then I can just type in whatever I want, A, M, G. And that's gonna be amg.com. You click go, and that's where the browser is going to take you. Now, to be able to use direct pen input, you do have to actually enable it from the settings. So always go into your settings, go to device under settings, and go to S Pen, and make sure direct pen input is in fact turned to on, okay? So as you can see, you can turn this option off or on based on your needs. The next thing I want to talk about is called the Air View feature. So basically, if you hover your S Pen over the screen, you can preview certain content. For example, if I go into the gallery application right over here and I grab my S Pen, I can hover the S Pen over the pictures and that's going to give me a quick preview, okay? So I don't have to touch the screen. I just hover the pen right over the picture and you get a quick preview. Let's do it on this one. There's the preview and if you tap it, it takes you into that picture. And this is called the Air View option, and it works in several other uh, applications. So let's uh, go into Settings, go into S Pen, and make sure this Air View is actually enabled. And if you look over here, it tells you that it works with the calendar, works with the gallery, works with videos, and also works with scrolling. So let's launch this Gmail application over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the S Pen to actually scroll through my messages without even touching the screen. So all you do is you hover this, uh, the S Pen, the tip of it, at the bottom of the screen, and that starts the scrolling process. You can scroll up or down as you please. So this may not work in every single application, but it works in most places. It also works in the navigation of the settings menu so if I had some kind of settings here that actually has a lot of options let's go over here you can use it at the bottom to scroll not too many here but it, you get the idea so if you do want to use the S Pen for scrolling purposes make sure air view is actually enabled all right so the next thing I want to talk about is called the air command so air command has been revamped in the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 it looks a little bit different than Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the 3 so you grab your S Pen, you tap the button, and it brings up the Air Command menu. And on the top, you've got three preset options called the Action Memo, the Smart Select, and the Screen Write. At the bottom here, you've got three app shortcuts. You've got the Clock, the Calculator, and the Amazon application, which you can actually change to configure to how you like it. 
So all you do is once you bring up Air Command, you tap the settings. And while you, once you're in the settings, you tap shortcuts. And from here, you can delete the apps you do not want. Now, if I bring up the Air Command menu one more time, it's only going to have the clock and the calculator application because I took Amazon off. So let's go back right in there, shortcuts. And then I can actually replace that with something that I actually like. So let's just put an Amazon Kindle for now. And if I bring up the Air Command menu this time, you have the Amazon Kindle application right over here. And the other thing you can do is, as you can see, every single time you want to bring up the Air Command, you have to hover the pen on the screen and tap this button. Now that could get annoying. So if you, go, if you do go in the settings over here, you can actually enable a floating icon that triggers the Air Command every time you tap onto it. So let's see how that works. So let me just bring up Air Command and let me just make it go away by tapping anywhere. And then you can actually see this floating icon, which you can put anywhere on the screen. You can take this, you can put it right over here in the corner. And if you tap on it, it just brings up the Air Command menu. And you can, as you can see, conveniently put this right at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way of other things. And the final option I want to talk about as far as Air Command settings go is detach S Pen to turn on. So every time you detach your S Pen from your phone, it brings up the Air Command by default. This happens automatically every time you pull your pen out of your uh, device. So if you don't like that, you can turn this thing off. And what you can do then is you can use the floating icon or the S Pen to bring the Air Command menu up manually, which I think is more desirable. Tap it, comes right up. Now let's quickly actually talk about the Air Command options. Now first of all, you set the shortcuts and you tap on it and it simply just launches that icon. It simply launches that application, not very hard. Now with these three guys, it's a little bit more complicated. So if you tap ac Action Memo, what happens is it brings up a notepad. And on this notepad, you can take quick notes and you can save this for later viewing. Now you can also resize this note application right over here. So at the bottom here, you can just grab this and resize that notepad. You can also use the eraser to delete something and then you can retype it. And if you tap on the pen icon, you can choose different colors in which you want to take your note. So that's the action memo. And then the second thing over here, if you tap on here, you can bring up Smart Select. Now Smart Select allows you to select anything on the screen, anywhere within your Note 5, and you can choose different shapes in how you want to select that item. So you can go rectangle, and that's going to select that portion of the screen. You can save that in your gallery, or you can save that into your scrapbook. Now let's do something a little more realistic. So let's say you were on the website, go to the website, and let's say there was something that caught your eye, and you wanted to save that for later viewing. All you do is you tap on the air command, you say smart select, and let's say you want to take the, um, you want to save it as a circle, so you grab that oval shape, and you simply select the portion that you want to save away. And then you tap save into the gallery or save into the scrapbook. If you save this thing to the gallery, you can go into your gallery and it's going to be right over here. It saves the whole thing as a picture. Now if you save it in your scrapbook, it saves it in a different way. By the way, you can see that little action memo still hovering on the screen. You can take that and you can put that thing anywhere you want as well. If you tap on it, it brings up the action memo again. You can write it. You have to click, click a delete. That's the only way to make it disappear or if you save the action memo. So if you do bring up the action memo, just to be clear, right, let's say you resize this. If you tap anywhere on the screen, that actually sits on the corner for you to access later. And you can put this anywhere you want on the screen. And tap it again to bring it up. To make it disappear, you have to delete it or save it. So let's delete this and it's gone. Okay, so let's quickly look at the third option. If you bring up Air Command one more time, you've got the screen right. What screen right does is it takes a snapshot of the screen you're on and then you can actually take notes right on the screenshot. So I can start taking some notes. I can 
circle this and I can go awesome application and I send that I can send this to my friends I can save it to into the gallery I can save it into the scrapbook or I can tap share and then I can send this to various channels using any one of these options right over here okay so this is for taking screen shots now one more thing the screen right can do is it can actually take a snapshot of an entire scrolling website or application so let me show you what I mean by that if I launch Chrome as you can see this is a pretty long website yahoo.com and let's bring up the um, screen right option tap on it it takes a screenshot but it also gives me an option it says scroll capture if I tap it it's gonna scroll down the website and take the remainder as a screenshot as well you can keep capturing more or you can actually say done and that's gonna stop the capturing so let's do capture more a couple more times one more capture and then I'm gonna say done and now I've got this entire website saved as a big screenshot okay and then when you're done with this you can as usual save this to your gallery save it to, save it into your scrapbook or share this whole thing with anybody that you please so that covers the air command menu so let's go back into the S Pen under device and see what other things we can do over here so you have this option called the pointer now if I hover my pen over the screen you'll see a little pointer that just follows the tip of the pen itself. If that annoys you, you can simply tap off and that's not gonna be there anymore, okay? As you can see, it has in fact disappeared. Now the, the, the next thing I wanna talk about is called the screen off memo. So basically, if your phone is turned off and you're walking down the street, you can quickly pull the phone out of your pocket and then pull the S Pen out of the phone and without even turning on the phone, you can quickly take down a note. Let me show you how that looks like. So I turn my phone off and I pull the S Pen out and I put the phone back on the case just so you guys can see it. As you can see, without even turning on the phone, I can start to actually take notes. I can delete these notes with the eraser, okay, and I can retake the notes as I please for corrections. And when I'm done, I can click Save and that gets saved into my Action Memo application. Now, obviously, this option can be enabled or disabled. So if you go into the settings, under S Pen, if you do not want this option, you can turn it off, and that's why that option is right over there. And the next tip has always been my favorite, S Pen Alerts. So if you pull out your S Pen and you put your S Pen on the table, and you grab your phone and you walk away, what the phone can do for you is it will alert you telling you that you're leaving your S Pen behind. So that would suck if you left this thing behind because this is gonna cost you 20, 30, 40 bucks based on where you buy it. So always make sure S Pen Alerts is enabled. So if you do drop your pen on the table and you walk away with your phone, your phone will actually beep and alert you telling you go get your S Pen, do not forget it. That's a fantastic option and it actually saves you some money. Now the other two things I wanna talk about is called the S Pen Sound and S Pen Vibration. So as you use S Pen on a daily basis, it actually gives you feedback in the form of sound and vibration. For example, when you pull the S Pen out of your uh, device, your Samsung Galaxy Note 5, it vibrates and gives you a little sound notification. If those things annoy you, you can turn this off and now you can use the S Pen completely in silent mode with no vibrations, no sounds. Now the final thing I wanna show you guys is called the S Note. So the S Note application comes with all the Galaxy Note 5s and it's specifically designed to be used with the S Pen. So let's launch this really quick. And the first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see action memos. So when you actually bring up the uh, command center and you pull out the action memo and you take a note and you click save, it gets saved into the action memos that you can access later, okay? But uh, let's uh, create a new S note. And then over here, what I wanna show you guys is the fact that you have all these different pens that you can use. So you can pick this pen tip, you can put pick that pen tip, and if you hover over these pen tips, it gives you a quick description. You don't have to touch the screen, just hover over the pencils or the pens, it's gonna tell you what they are. So as you can see, that thing right here is the highlighter pen, and that thing is the calligraphy brush. So if you tap that, you can pick a color, you can change the size, and then you can start writing. 
okay? And you can also erase this. And you can also type in text using the keyboard if you have to. And then the other thing I want to show you guys is if you tap this thing right over here, more, you can actually change the way the page looks. So background, you can add lines, you can change the color, and you can do anything that you please. So click done. Now, as you can see, the page has changed its style. Now, the final thing I want to show you guys is the fact that when you're in S Note application, the only thing that you can use to write on the screen is the S Pen. So your fingers are absolutely worthless in this scenario right over here. So as you can see, nothing is being typed. And if your fingers was touching the screen and the S Pen was touching the screen, again, the S Pen will work and your fingers are not going to interfere. So this is a definitely an isolated environment designed specifically for note taking with the S Pen. And that's the final thing I want to go over. All right, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. The links will be down below in the description. Have a great day.